Do you regret your involvement with the Robin Hood investigation? This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Freekeen.com. Mr. Stardy, is that you? Question. Was part of your goal in the Robin Hood investigation to collect evidence that the, um, the parking enforcers didn't want to be filmed, or was it to collect evidence of a crime? Do you regret your involvement with the Robin Hood investigation because of the fact that, I guess, you got a bunch of video and weren't able to collect any evidence of a crime? I distributed your pamphlet there. It was said exactly the same thing. But, you know, I'm not the same thing. Okay. But mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not sourced that you can just you know, plug into your house. So, anyway. It's, it's not that. No, 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 we don't need it. So. What, what to do about nothing? So, that was the ZBA issue. Okay. So, we can get cross that one off. Personnel policy amendment. This is the, the wireless communication. So, whether it's by design or not, the Dublin Board of Selectmen meetings seem design, designed uh, to sort of limit public involvement. I mean, you saw how small that room was. It's a uh, I mean, even I kind of felt uncomfortable going in there and being so close to them and having to film at, you know, close range with, you know, three or four audience seats only. I felt almost like I was intruding on them, and maybe it's designed to make the, uh, uh, the public feel the same way and maybe not show up so much. You notice, of course, no one did show up. The guy who was sitting on the left, as you were, you know, uh, to, to your left, you know, as, you, as you're facing, the, the, watching the screen, uh, the selectman on the far left side uh, wearing dark green, um, I never got a chance to ambush interview him because I guess he pulled like a, like evasive maneuvers to try and keep me from filming him. I, 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 I'm not positive that that's what he was doing, but it sure looked that way because he, he, the way he came in uh, was really circuitous, like he parked in just the perfect spot for me to think he was going to go in the front door. And then he went in, not the back door, but an alternate back door, uh, which happened to be open. He could, you know, presumably see me as he was driving in because I have to basically stand on a street corner to watch both entrances. Of course, now there are three entrances to watch. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, the, the town meetings here are set up so that, uh, selectman meetings are set up so that, you know, you almost kind of are encouraged to call in you know, to meet with the selectman as opposed to just showing up. I, I did call today just to verify the date and time. You know, I, I called a, a week or two ago and uh, I got the impression that the, the person who took my call was, was going to inform the selectman that I was going to be here. You know, she wanted to know who I was, why I was going to be here, that kind of thing. Dublin, including its government, has various charms, but uh, it just doesn't seem to be the most accessible or transparent select board. What are you arresting this man for? You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling, and the list of reasons to move has just been updated. For details, visit freekeen.com.